in Moscow. Streets are flooded with police. This is a day after that airport bombing that killed 35 people. There are fears in Russia that more terror attacks could be on the way. Joining us now from Washington is Bloomberg contributing editor Richard Falkenrath. Richard was President Bush's deputy homeland security advisor. He is now a principal at the Chertoff Group. Richard, thanks for joining us this morning. Always good to have your perspective on these matters. How likely is it that what we saw in Moscow yesterday afternoon, local time, signals a new wave of terrorism to come? Well, uh, what it signals is that Russia has a very serious terrorism problem it's struggled with for almost 20 years, and that will continue. There's really no doubt in my mind that there will be more attacks of this sort. There was a bombing of the subway last March. There was a bombing of a train last November. So this is going to go on. It's a very long-standing problem for Russia. In fact, they've been trying to cope with the North Caucasus region for about four centuries when it was first absorbed into the Russian Empire. You mentioned the train bombing. You mentioned the subway bombing. Do you think it is part of the attackers strategy to hit city hubs in other words not just to kill people but to also inflict a kind of economic damage absolutely not just economic uh, in terms of the criticality of that infrastructure but the set the the message it sends to the rest of the world this airport is really the gateway to russia it's where most of the flights from western europe arrive into moscow and so when you hit this airport all the travelers all the business people that do business in moscow have been there they've seen it they've seen that arrival hall which is now a scene of carnage uh, richard you've had a lot of contact and still do with heads of state did you find president Medvedev comments a little bit bizarre. He seems to almost be blaming the airport security. Isn't it ultimately his responsibility to name a transportation secretary, defense secretary, and sort of build this infrastructure that's integrated? Or is that just easier said than done? Well, he's deflecting blame from the real issue, which is the inability to pacify the North Caucasus. And, and that's been his problem, and in fact, Putin's problem for before for 10 years, and they've failed to do it. It's still causing terrorist attacks in metropolitan Moscow. And so what they do now is they blame the bureaucrats, say there was a failure of security, when in fact there's a much deeper underlying social, economic, political situation that the, the government in Moscow has failed to deal with. As far as how Russia is dealing with this problem versus how the U.S. is set up to deal with terrorism, do you see particular strong points? I mean, is there any way that people here can take credit for preventing many such incidences on U.S. shores? Not really. I mean, this, this attack happened outside the security perimeter of the airport. Uh, and just in our airports, we have the same problem. There's a tight security perimeter once you get through to go board your plane. But on the outside, where your families come and greet you and the, the taxis are waiting, there's really no security. And securing that area is virtually impossible against a satchel bomb like this. Richard, thank you as always for your time, for your insight. Richard Falkenrath joining us there from Washington, D.C.